Hey guys, welcome to today's video. I am going to unbox and try out things that I ordered off of TikTok that seem too good to be true and they might be. I'm gonna give you the full scoop. I was totally sucked in by these and every single item here was due to me adding to cart after watching someone rant and rave over the product and it just making sense. These are items that I felt would make my life better, more glamorous, would help me feel more beautiful and improved. So we're just gonna dive on in and hope for the best. Dangerous murky water when you are ordering online these items that are just like really inexpensive and have a lot of claims. Actually, you know what? There are some items in here that were not cheap. So we're gonna kind of be a little like here, a little there, a little up, a little down. Oh my gosh. I am going to make my husband fall in love with me all over again. This is supposed to make you more attractive. Pheromones, oil, I'm into it. I love the research. I actually am super into the idea of your pheromones pulling in the right people into your life, the right partner. I don't know that a perfumed oil is getting it done more than like your natural, like your natural scent. This is the kind of stuff that I geek out over. If you ever wanted to know, like I researched the most random things, like send me down a tunnel with like one thing and I will just like grab it all and then sort it out. And I'll be like, everything you wanna know about your hormones and pheromones, like let's take a seat, let's like debrief, let's unpack it, we're doing it. Awaken, arousal, inspire desire. Okay, so this is definitely going to make me more attractive and all of my dreams are going to come true in 2024. So I can't wait. I'm so excited. Uh, truth be told, I had a pheromone fragrance that I bought years and years and years ago, and it was the best smelling oil ever. I couldn't even like describe it if I tried because it didn't really smell like anything. It just had this freshness and sweetness to it. And I have been searching forever for a pheromone oil that was like the one that I used to love. So that's kind of why I ordered this. Oh shoot. Yo, that actually smells so good. It has like a vanilla. Wow. Wow. I can't do many perfumes anymore. Oh my gosh. That is, I'm attracted to myself right now. Oh, okay, that has a vanilla, spicy, sophisticated tobacco warmth, pipe tobacco undertone. That is intricate, luxurious. I actually, we're off to a great start. This is the crap that I do, okay? I, this is not very exciting for most of you, I'm sure of it, but I'm gonna go in hard and figure out if this is worth the spend or not. I saw a few different people raving about this tripod, picture perfect selfie stick and tripod. The way that they were like doing the different settings and they were like, and it's convenient, take it on the go and it's so reliable and this is the best one. I just literally was like, yes, yes, okay, got it, add to cart, done. I have been looking to make my home more filming friendly, which means I'm kind of getting over myself and putting little tripods everywhere because if you're gonna be filming spend a day with me type content, you wanna have something like this in your bathroom, in your bedroom. You don't wanna have to constantly be lugging all of this crap around, maybe keep one in your car. So I feel like you wanna find something quality without spending a ton of cash so you can have a few of them. Do we wanna get into this right now? I kind of wanna open her up right now. It feels pretty nice, like not rinky dink, which I have ordered one in the past on Amazon that I was like, this is the biggest joke ever. Except for how do I get this thing like, oh, 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 wow, okay. I mean, we can do some fashion shows with this, wow. I was not expecting that, that is pretty fantastic. And then it does have the tripoding legs on the bottom here, if I could figure out how to open these puppies up. Did they just, oh my gosh. Okay, that's actually really nice. I like that because it just goes like this and you don't have to constantly open something up and stretch it and they don't match. You know what I'm saying? I'm liking it, happy I ordered that. Two for two. All right, what do we got here? Oh, that fragrance is like, oh my gosh. There's something about it that is so absolutely pleasing 
and I have not sneezed yet. I am not, my nose is not running. So I have hope, I have hope that I can do it. Snail mucin and turmeric anti-aging mask. Yes, I fully got sucked in everything snail mucin. I'm now peeking into different essences with snail mucin, not just the Cos RX, but different brands. And I think because I like snail mucin so much that I get recommended a lot of products with snail mucin. So I will try this one out and let you guys know this is the snail mucin and turmeric anti-aging mask with saffron stem cell extract and rice bran extract. I'm gonna use this tonight. We'll see how it goes. I'll pop in a little thumbs up, thumbs down as far as the application and what it feels like. Feels nice. This does have kaolin clay in it as well. So that is going to remove some impurities from the skin, kind of give it a nice deep clean. It has, I like the ingredients and the reviews were absolutely beautiful, which is why, again, I ordered it. What is your favorite snail mucin? Please let me know in the comments. What a pleasant haul this is so far, right? I feel really optimistic. Oh, as I was saying, okay, this is dangerous. Okay, this is, okay. Let's like, we're gonna, we're gonna talk. We're gonna come a little closer and I'm gonna confess to you that once upon a time, I had a habit that maybe is not the healthiest habit. I think some of us have been there where you look at your hair and you pick out the split ends and you take little scissors and you kind of zone out. And you, you know, maybe this is like to calm my nervous system. Maybe it means um, stress abounds, but I would get like very soothed by cutting my split ends. I know a therapist is probably gonna say something in the comments that's like not pleasant about me doing this, but hang with me. I don't do that anymore. I'm not like super obsessed with my split ends anymore. That's kind of a thing in the past. However, since I have been doing my 90s blowout, I have noticed that I have trashed some of my ends and I would like to be able to freshen them up without going super bananas with like the cuticle scissors. So that's why I got this. This is the hair trimmer cordless split end hair trimmer. Rick Henry might be in my DMs being like, what are you doing? Why are you, I'm gonna show him this actually. Um, he's doing my hair again soon. And it's really beautiful. Oh my gosh, stop this right now. Maybe I should test it on James first. I saw so many people have such success with this. Oh I didn't know it was powered, oh my gosh. That just gave me a heart attack. Oh my gosh. I thought I would have to like plug it in or something. Do not use this machine when your hair is too wet. Should we try it? How do you do this? I, I feel like I should just take like a longer piece of hair, maybe? Cause like if I mess up this one, oh my gosh. Did it do anything? Yeah, it definitely did something. What? This feels dangerous. I will report back and let you guys know. Um, I'm gonna ask a professional very soon what the T is on that device and I will update. Goodness sakes. Well, I'm really awake now, you know? That I, I've already damaged my bangs, let me be clear. Like I have a hard time doing my bangs right now. I'm trying to grow them out because I ultimately had a moment where literally I fried off the ends and they've been impossible to do. This, yes, the Sano Natural Silk Mask. You guys, I see someone looking like a zombie, like every other little thing on TikTok. And you know, I can get down with a zombie mask, a weird bubble peel off mask, a torture peel off mask. I've tried them all. Sign me up, I'm into it. I will be testing this out. Probably test the snail mucin one first. And then maybe I'll actually make a TikTok using this and document. Clothing, clothing. You know what I'm gonna do? Honestly, Honestly, like I decided that with Amazon, with Timu, with TikTok shop, I really want to bring aggressive, like intentionally aggressive reviews to you guys. So if I order a bodysuit that everyone's like, $6, this is amazing. I really want to be the person to say, yes, it's amazing, but how did it wash? Did it stretch out? 
Is the material getting floppy or pilly? Are there threads hanging out the side? Is it really cinching enough? Is it long enough? Like I wanna give a more detailed review on some clothing options moving forward. That is a big thing for me because I have started to order quite a bit online and some of it has been phenomenal and some of it has been so disappointing. It is really hard to find the disappointing, de-influencing reviews when it comes to Amazon or TikTok shop. And I get it, people want to share what they love because you know you can have that affiliate link which I use and is totally good I love that but I also want to kind of bring the way I review beauty products to fashion because some of it's a joke some of it is like no like we need more detail with the stuff that doesn't work as well as the stuff that does you know what I'm saying so tell me as well in the comments what has not worked out for you that you've bought that was like a too good to be true because it can't all be great all right this Oh my gosh, I think I, I got this for like $6, which is honestly alarming. The woman that was wearing this looked so cute. And I was like, this is like aloe. This is nice. You look so pulled together and expensive. Why is this the price? I got curious and I bought it. I think it has like the butt scrunchy thing. Hey, oh my. This is actually pretty thick material. I'm surprised. It smells exactly like when you open a makeup palette that's made in China that has that kind of acrylic-y scent to it. Do you know, I'm not trying to be rude. It just has that factory scent to it. I'm gonna wash this first for sure because the fumes are flying off that. Okay, we have another mobile phone LED light. I am trying all of them because I need many in my life because they do die pretty quickly, but I also wanna keep them in multiple purses. And this one is different, but it looks the same. I love these though. Oh my gosh, game changed for sure. I need to charge this. Uh, this one looks a little more intense, like you screw the thing in. I'm gonna rate them. I have three of them so far of these little phone lights. I got like a 99 cent one, which is just like this big. I hope it's in here somewhere that you can just literally pop on your phone and that way it's not so obnoxious. Because when you take this with you to the grocery store or Sephora, you do feel a little bit like, it's a little embarrassing. You're just like, I've arrived and I'm filming and I'm doing what I want and the world revolves around me. And you kind of have that, like, I don't know, I feel like I come off that way when I'm using like such a big light like this. Maybe I just need to get past that. But if you want something a little less loud, I think I have it in here somewhere. There's like this little teeny tiny guy that I'm excited. To oh, right here. Excited to test out. Okay, this is the mini Q. This is so adorable. Is it charged? No, no, yeah, it is. Why is it blinking? Cause it needs to be charged maybe. Ah, oh my gosh. Oh, and you have different levels. Oh my gosh, are you kidding me? Like that's, that is pretty good actually. And I legit feel like it was a dollar or two. I'm not, a, I'm, like I'm not joking. I will link this. Wow, whoa, whoa. I'm shocked by how much light this little thing gives off. That's wild. Got some more powder puffs because why not? And, oh, okay, this looked really promising and I really get annoyed when I get mascara on my upper eyelid or when it smudges below. And this was like a dollar and I thought, why not? I will test this out. It's so that you can really kind of go in with your mascara and just get layer upon layer on there and not have to worry with it smudging. The hairline shader, we're trying this one right now. I bought in Thailand something very similar looking to this years ago and I love it. So you have the little puff on the bottom, you can coat it right here. And then if you wanna just like touch up your hairline, you can kind of just like go in like so. Really helps if you are um, have your hair pulled back and you have a hairline that needs a little help. That probably didn't look too good. You can kind of rub it in. I feel like this is the wrong color for me. I need it to be a little bit darker. Um, but what I used to do with mine is I would use it for the hairline and then I would also use it as my brow powder. I just take a brow brush, go in here and it would really work well on brows. So tip from me to you, this powder is typically going to have the kind of texture that will work really, really well on the brow as well. And that way your hairline is kind of matching the brows. It looks very cohesive. I've always really liked that technique. I think I need to order a different 
different shade. This is like just a little bit too warm, but I do love these. This is the year of self-care for me where I'm really pouring into my own cup a bit and being unapologetic about doing that. And that means waking up, having a little more me time, journaling, getting first light. If you guys are into that and you know about that, then you know. I'm documenting a little bit of some of these daily habits that I'm into that I think are really beneficial. I don't have an ice bath or anything like that, but I definitely love cold treatments, like cold therapy treatments. And I think putting on an ice mask like this in the morning is gonna be game changing because I don't know that I wanna fill like a bowl with ice water and do the whole dunk every single morning but I thought like, wouldn't it be nice to actually just do like a gel mask? And then you are getting the face really awake and I feel like ice always tightens everything or makes me feel like it's a little more tightened, uninflamed. I don't know, is this ridiculous? I love it. I'm so into it. It feels really nice quality too. So this is a smash freaking hit. I'm excited to pop this in the freezer. What do we got? Why did I order all mediums? Oh, I'm so disappointed. Ooh, this has like boob things in here. I usually rip those out. Ooh, we are smelling like acrylic. We are smelling, this smells like a bottle of nail polish remover. Ugh. Um, you guys, wash your clothes that you buy that are super cheap. Do it before you wear it. You do not want that off-gassing chemical, whatever they treat the fabric with to make it not flammable sometimes. Just there's different things that they do, different dyes that can off-gas and what have you. I would suggest always washing. Fashion show will have to happen tomorrow and I'll be doing laundry tonight. Ooh, I am really excited about this one. These are from... OQQ. This is like the sexiest looking bodysuit. Are you kidding me? I like the black zipper. Ooh, the material is nice and thick and the arms might be not long enough. I really struggle with uh, long sleeved bodysuits that don't have long enough arms. It drives me insane. We'll definitely have to try this on. Got a medium because of the long torso issue, but this looks nice. It's like actually feels heavy. Doesn't smell too bad either, This, but I'll still wash it. Oh, who does she think she is, honestly? Where would I go in this? I just feel like anything that has like the bodysuit top attached to the legging is gonna be like camel toe central. You're gonna be worried out in public, even if you style it with like a baggy, like cute denim shirt, something like that. Like, I don't know, I feel like I would be concerned, but again, I saw so many women that just like looked so gorgeous in these full get up, like, are we going to dance class? I don't even know, but they like, oh my gosh, does this have the rouged booty? Everyone's butt was looking really cute and like the back is open. I just, I wanted in and maybe I'll just prance around my home in it, I don't know, but I wanted to try it to see what I would look like in an outfit like that and play dress up. So I will wash these and then we're gonna see what goes down. I'm a little nervous. That one looks a little small. Like how am I even gonna get into that? But we shall see. Why did I buy this? 
I ordered this, I regretted ordering it immediately. Like this is literally such an example of how we can be sold to online when we don't need things. And I fall victim to it just like anybody else would. But I just saw this too many times and it looked too good to be true. Red light and vibration, this guy right here. The more I was thinking about it, like red light truly has to be on the skin for several minutes at a time for it to really do anything. I'm a big believer in red light therapy and light therapy in general. I have one of those really intense masks that I think is amazing that you can wear hands-free and the light is hitting every area of the face simultaneously. So it's really having a chance to help repair the skin and penetrate the skin and do the good things that it will do. Now, something like this that you're gliding on the skin, I don't know that the amount of light is really gonna do much, nor do I think that the vibration is going to do anything either. I started doing facial yoga or facial, I don't know what you would call it. There is a girl that I follow. I'm gonna put her in the description box below. I do not know her name offhand. I've been doing her facial massage treatments every day consistently and it is releasing so much tension in my jaw and there's a specific sequence to your lymphatic system so as much as I love lymphatic drainage and gua sha and all of that I'm not skilled in that area it is not my area of expertise so I love having a routine where someone is saying like open up your chest let's get under the armpits let's work on the jaw and I'll work on the back of the head you see and feel such a nice difference doing something like that rather than a vibrating tool that you're just like kind of going here there everywhere with like a light therapy that might be hitting different areas for like a moment or two but I'm still gonna try it let's see here what have we got yes Yes, going to make a reel. Absolutely so excited to try this. It actually makes sense to me. These are the peel off. It's like a lip liner that you peel off and then it leaves a stain. And then you put on your lip liner and the rest of your lipstick and whatever. I know you guys have seen this. If you follow beauty anything on TikTok, you've seen this, right? It literally is like goop that you do the whole thing and then you peel it off and bam, you've got like a cool contour that is not gonna smudge off or go anywhere all day long. I think this could be really, really good. All right, you guys, that is everything that I ordered from TikTok shop. I'm really excited to keep ordering on the app. It is super convenient, I will say that. This, I'm gonna leave you by saying that this fragrance is honestly so gorgeous. If you like spicier anything, if you like a little hint of spice, sexy, what have you, and you like a roll-on oil, this is surprisingly so nice and has not made me feel like I have a headache, nose running, sneezing, nothing. It's just delightful. I really, really love it. So I think I discovered some really great things, maybe not everything. If you have recommendations of viral items on TikTok for me to try in the future, let me know. I am so into it. I just want to be a tester of all things in 2024. So you can expect more of these kind of videos from me. And if you enjoy that, make sure you are subscribed and ring the bell. Other than that, go and have a good one, you guys. And I will see you all in my next video. Mwah.